yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Good, good. Good. Is this a circle? <laughs> Did I say circle? Okay, so, see, we've already eliminated people. It's inclusive. Our culture is inclusive. We include everybody. Everybody's got to be part of the circle. That's why there's a circle. So I need to invite Carlos. Come on in here, my man. Here we go. Well, it's okay. Touch, touch, touch shoulders. He's got a nice shoulder there. Lean on it. Look, look, you're a team, okay? So this is not unusual. What I'm doing is, it might be unusual because you guys don't know each other that much. But you will get to know each other if you get close. Watch. Just here. Come on. Whoa. Okay. Back here. That's it, Mike. Everybody in? Okay. My work with culture development starts from the circle. The Native American warriors start everything from a circle. Have you ever noticed the TP? It's a circle. Have you ever noticed the fireplace that they build? It's a circle. Do you ever look at the top of a teepee, Tim? It's a circle, right? You know that. Did I tell you this? No, did I? OK. <laughs> Not only that, but all the teepees are in a circle in the village. So if I'm, if I'm a Native American and I'm setting up my teepee, my teepee's going to be here, my neighbor's going to be here, the next neighbor's going to be there, and we're all going to be in a circle. Why? Because it reminds us of something. It's a symbolic representation of our culture. That's what it is. Imagine, you get up every morning and you feel the circle. That's what they do. They get up in the middle, middle of the morning and they, and they all come together before they go out on their journey, whatever they're going to do. So I've developed this concept with my teams. And part of the reason why I love this is because we're all connected, symbolically. Hook arms. Hook arms. There you go. Right? We're not at the hugging stage yet. <laughs> hugging, hugging comes tomorrow morning. This is, this is a successive approximation in psychology. No. So, look, we're all connected. I can't go out. No one can come in. I dare anyone to crash our circle. This is us. It's all about us. Us, U.S., United Spirits. You got it? This is why I do this. And, and the athletes feel it. And if you're seven years old, you'll love it. If you're 27 years old, you'll adore it. So it's, it's ageless, like me. It's ageless. <clears throat> The other thing that's nice about this is, do you notice that you can see everybody's eyes? So we all take responsibility and accountability that we're here and we're present. There's no hiding. In other words, come here, over here, watch, break arm. You, Glenn, good, okay. Getting back, getting back, get, get, getting back, Glenn. Glenn, getting back. back, in back, that's it, Glenn, thanks. Now you're in back to him, right? Now we're sitting like this. Isn't that silly to have a team We have, I'm speaking with you and we got people in back and back and back. Now Glenn's over here and he's going like this. <laughs> I don't want any of that in my culture. I want Glenn in the circle, come on up, and I want to be able to see his eyes. And I can tell, Lindsay, when I look in your eyes, I know you're present right now. Yes or no? Yes. And don't say yes because you're my neighbor. You're present, big time. This is what the team sees. This is what they feel. They feel the presence of each other. They feel the love, the connectedness. One of the things I like to do, I won't do it with you, is we hold hands too. I hold, we hold hands like this. Men too, men and women, doesn't matter. And, and I go like this and I squeeze this hand and it goes through his body, comes out here, and then he squeezes his hand Boom, it would go around the circle, and when we get back here, we all give a chant. All kinds of things you can do with it, but the message is there. Eye contact. Oh, what about the journey? What about the journey? Look at the circle. It's never ending. Look at it. So that I'll get back with my teams in September, and we'll begin again. We just took a stop on, along the way. We went into the inn. We had a night's nice rest. 
and then we get up and we start the journey again. So it's all, all the time. Every year, kids get older, other kids come in. It's a journey constantly, like life. The other thing it is too, which is really wonderful, is it has the, it has the emptiness in the circle in the middle. And that's symbolic to me and to my athletes of being empty. Because if you come into my group filled up, then I can't put anything in. It's like a cup of tea. You keep pouring the tea, it overflows. Well, geez, at some point you start to get the message. That I can't put any more tea in there. But if you're open and you're empty and you're receptive, then you can learn. So I tell the teams, I tell the athletes, we have this circle, let the, let the emptiness remind you and be symbolic of all that we need to learn. And me too, because what I do is I get in the circle. I'm just out here for demonstration purposes and to look silly. You know what I'm saying, right? The other thing it does, the other thing a circle uh, communicates to us is uh, oneness. Oneness. Look at the O. Sort of an O. <laughs> oneness of heart, oneness of soul, oneness of purpose, oneness of goal. Oneness of heart, oneness of soul, oneness of purpose, oneness of goal. The one goal, it's all you need. We want to win national championships, don't get me wrong. But the only goal we really need to have is this. Not only for your athletes, but for you in life. Can you take on the goal of doing the best you can, Stephen, today, in order to be the best you can be today, so that you position yourself for great things to happen? Imagine, that's all they have to do. And I want my team to achieve that. In our culture, that's what we do. We do the best we can today to be the best we can be so that we position ourselves for great things to happen. We're ready, able, present. So when we meet in the circle, let me give you an example. In practice, one of the greatest things that happens in the right before practice, if we get to the circle, the circle is representative of the new beginning. We're back again today. It's Saturday. We were there Friday, yes, but here we are again. Let's renew our vow. Our vow is to do the best we can to be the best we can be today. Now, what are you going to do about that? So you speak up and you tell me what you're going to do today to be the best you can be. I'm going to prepare as best as I can through mental preparation. I don't like putting people on the spot, I'm sorry, but it's through mental preparation? Yeah. Good, okay. So we have to define what that best is gonna be. What I, like, what I like the kids to do is I like to go around the circle. We take 15, 10, 15 minutes to do this, and they go around the circle, and you know what I ask them? I say, tell your teammates what you're gonna to give today to your team. What are you gonna to give to your team? Effort. Effort, what are you gonna to give to your team? Hard work. Hard work. You're going to hard, work hard. What are you going to give? Heart. Heart. All heart. Openness. Openness. You know what I'm going to give? I'm going to pick up the balls after practice. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the balls. I'm a senior, but I don't care. I'm going to do that work. I'm going to do all the dirty work today. And you're going to hear that. Now, tomorrow I might not say that. But in a circle, we all commit to each other to being a certain way and doing certain things that will illuminate our path. We need to shine that light. As John said, we need to carry that torch so that it, it illuminates the path. But the goal stays the same. See? Okay, so the, the circle is where we work from. And I do this before practice. They do it, I don't do it. Before practice, every practice starts this way. If you look at my teams, every practice starts this way. Number one. Number two, every game, we come out on the field, we do this. Before we even do anything, we, we get into a circle. Come back from halftime, we get into a circle. Why? Anybody? Why? It's a constant reminder of who we are and what we're all about. This is our culture. What is a culture? Shared values. Shared values. What is a culture? What do you 
accept. What you what? What you accept. What you accept altogether. The way you do things here. Huh? The way you do things here. The way you do things here. Culture? It's home. Culture is home. You know, it's funny because the whole culture represents a family. And it's a, it's a functional family. We all know what dysfunctional families are. The circle reminds us this is home. This is what we do. This is what we do here. Now let's go find out what my cultures do here. I'm going to go through strong facts. There's 11 of them. I'm going to start with the facts. Is that okay? There's a reason to my madness, but I'm going to start with the facts. Let's go back and begin. Okay? Great.